Elowen Welcome. We head back to Silverstone Circuit, known as the home of British motor racing. Indeed, Circuit of Silverstone. So we continue the rest of the Ipec uh, series, the last three races to get gold. And yes, Silverstone, a track that I do like. And it's it's usually alright in, in Forza Motorsport 5. After the usual start, same position every time, which is annoying, just means you're gonna overtake everybody. A lot of games use this format though. Which, you know, it's the fun part, is uh, obviously overtaking, so... And off we go. More zones for us to crash into. Couldn't really go anywhere there, so might as well just stay behind and stick to the racing line. And then here we're gonna venture. We're on the outside, not the best place to be. Doesn't work out too well, not too badly here. And not too badly either, and everyone is... The AI is slow there for some reason. We just managed to sneak through there with throttle down with our touch. In this corner again we can clean up a couple of cars. It's another McLaren P1 here. One of our brothers that we clear. Can you go past this one? I've got no idea what it is. It looks like a, a Lotus, but it also looks too big for a Lotus. Probably is a Lotus though. On our way through here. Speed is something we don't have, but we are better than them on the corner. Got a little touch there. Not the place where you really want to touch, but we're at dead in mid-corner. Overtake here and we go into this lovely corners. Try to sneak on the inside and unfortunately... I mean, I, I did get past, but I was dirty. Can't really find a proper line around here and we are behind our other brother. Our other sister car that decides to go into the grass for absolutely no reason. Unfortunately, we don't have the speed to catch up, but we'll catch up in the corners as usual. The McLaren goes... I don't know where it's trying to go, but calling it wide is, uh, is an understatement. And here, we're trying to slot in behind. And then again, the McLaren, I don't know what he's doing, I don't know which racing line it's taking. But yeah, seems to like the corners quite wide. Little Wayne. And oops, couldn't quite do the same as we did last time. Yeah, it's still a corner anyway, but still. I was hoping I'd sneak through there and end up just crashing into him. We find ourselves in second place at lovely Silverstone. We've got the Bugatti, which is not all that great around these corners, but it's got that straight. Well, it's got, got about, I can't speak, it's got about three areas uh, that it can just pull away from us, this being the biggest one. And even going on the grass, you know, we nearly lose it, but the Bugatti just keeps going full power. Yeah, we're gonna catch up uh, then around here. It's not, doesn't help that we are messing up the corner. Try to do this one a little better. But then we go off on the way out of the corner. Really not the way you should be driving around there, especially if you're trying to catch up somebody else. Through here all the AI is very slow. We always uh, make up time, but then again the Bugatti puts the power down after it and um, see you later. They do break a lot in these corners. Something that perhaps I should have done. At least on this occasion. Because now it's just gone and we mess up again. I did consider using rewind but I just let it go. It did take us and unfortunately the entire lap to get back on it. Well most of the lap anyway. So eventually back up to the Bugatti. Trying to take him on the last few corners. Of the uh, of the race, we know here we can't really do anything about it. Just try not to lose any more time uh, because the Bugatti is just way too fast. And this is our chance to make up time. Screw up the corner, of course, because that's what I do best. 
try to keep it a bit tidier here, but I don't. I go way too wide. And then Bugatti puts the power down. Fortunately here, the AI thinks that you should break for some reason. I'm, I'm not sure what reason it is. But it just wanted to give this uh, the first place. And so here we are. Taking the position and then just gotta bring it home. Gotta watch out on this straight though, because obviously the Bugatti, even though going on the grass, has got a lot of speed. And I was keeping an eye on that. I was paying more attention to what was going behind me than what it was in front of me, uh, which is never a good thing when you're driving. And uh, we were safely through the. Gotta do the last chicane and just, you know, take it home. Decent race. Had some fun on that, especially as the last few races in Silverstone I had to repeat them. So it was nice not having to repeat this race. We return to the home of the Bathurst 1000, the Mount Panorama Circuit in Australia. Another one of my uh, favorite tracks, Bathurst in, in Australia. But you've got some of the best GT and the touring car endurance races of the entire season. Absolutely beautiful going up and down the hill. It's, it's just amazing. Gorgeous. I never get tired of racing there. And off we go. Eighth place up to ninth. It's very good. We like that. We're not stuck behind everybody because overtaking going up the hill and down the hill is not something you want to do around there. So uh, try to stay in the top 10 at least. That'll be very nice. We've got more speed here than the Lamborghini for some reason. I think it's just because we got a... Uh, we, we carried more speed out of the corner. And here is where the party starts. Trying to... Uh, overtake cars around here. It's really tricky, especially for somebody who can't drive like myself. The walls are always there to remind you that you shouldn't screw up. And I just go on walls all over the place. It's like it was my first time driving in this in this track for some reason. I was doing so bad here at the beginning. But still, it was um, it's seventh place because the others can't overtake either, so that's the, the benefit. This is not normally a place where you'd overtake, but it is a video game, and we're gonna try because the AI isn't all that smart. So. Taking it. Taking risks around here and then a little bit of a touch and... Yeah. That happened. Right, rewind. Which I do avoid using, but really there didn't have much to do. I still don't do any better, but at least I don't <laughs> completely get the car stuck. Uh, but still, I mean, awful driving, absolutely awful. And now we're stuck behind the Bugatti, just gonna drive away from us. I mean, somehow in third place. But yeah, a lot of those overtakes shouldn't really be uh, taken. I, I would have been disqualified uh, a long time ago if it was a real race. The speed of the Bugatti down here. I mean, we got a perfect draft and he's consistently getting away. But then it breaks a lot here, which I forgot that the AI does that. But thankfully, there was uh, enough space for me to just go on the inside. And should be all straightforward uh, from here for the goal. The first place is quite a far, it's quite far away, but we do have two laps, so we shouldn't be a problem to catch up. Don't ask me how I did that, why I did that. I'm guessing I was looking elsewhere when I was uh, doing the race. Took my eyes off the TV for for a split second, and yeah, end up crashing, in the, crashing on a straight. That's that's the level of racing we're talking about here. So. Uh, Thank you for watching. <laughs> and uh, yeah, running away from Lamborghini. Uh, not Lamborghini, from the um, Bugatti. And we do hold that up, so that's fine. Now up the hill, unless we mess up badly, it should be fine. It should be us now catching the first place rather than worry about the third place catching us. Of course, when you keep hitting the wall like that, you do tend to bring the, um, the ones behind you into contention again. Again, there. How I kept crashing is beyond me. 
But apparently the turn was perfect, so we're good. And here we are behind the P1, our little brother. For the first time that I think we've seen that car in first place across the series, it's always the Bugatti. But I guess the Bugatti is so bad coming up the hill and uh, up the mountain and down the mountain that the McLaren just gains way too much time there. And now we try not to crash all over the track like we did on our first lap. So that was a little bit cleaner, a little prettier, nicer to watch. You're going a little bit wide. I do like this corner. I remember on Gran Turismo 5 you could get stuck there at the end. If you took it too uh, wide, on the way out of that corner on the right hand side, uh, at the end of the, that blue advertisement, you, you would get the car stuck there, which was super annoying. Uh, thankfully, not having the issue here. And just powering um, all the way to the last lap, so it became quite boring. Because I drove, drove like a Muppet on a first lap to overtake places, and in the end I could have run uh, a proper race, take less risks, and have a more fun race throughout. Well, as a result of this though, we can skip straight onto the last lap, and bring it home, with one race uh, left to go for, for this car. 17th gold out of 18 for the this one. The next event is at the man-made paradise of Yas Island and the Yas Marina circuit. Indeed. A racetrack that I don't particularly like and I don't do very well on it. On pretty much any game. Um, yeah, I don't know why. It just doesn't quite go with me. I do like this uh, first corner. And the second and then going down. And then the rest of the track is just kind of meh. To be entirely honest, I don't know why it's never been my thing, but we're not doing too bad here, overtaking quite a few cars as we get some more used to the car and just tend to drive a little bit better. Throw it here on the inside, everyone's going wide, and then we have to go wide ourselves to avoid carnage. Lamborghini taking some interesting lines here, but nice over overtake there going on the inside of the Koenigsegg. And this one, which I don't know what car it is, does the same to us and overtakes us. Bloody Ninja. And then they kind of box themselves up here. Which is fine for me. Uh, a few attempts that AI are going to some crazy overtakes, ends up going completely off the track, so I don't know what he was doing there. Uh, but it's glad to see that I'm not the only one that can't drive. And uh, yeah, that, that overtake there, I mean, just spinning the op opponents around so you can get through is a tactic that I don't normally use, um, especially in those circumstances, but I did it there, done almost to perfection, I would say. And we are in sixth place, chasing down a little Lotus, whatever thing it is, which is going to be taken care of here, and then we have to worry about the Zonda. Not as many love taps with the Zondas um, today as we had the other day. Try to go on the inside here. It's just such an easy place to overtake against the AI. To catch a third place, however, it did take us a while. So, cut all the bit out when eventually we're here behind our sister. Uh, which is back, who's back in third place again. So. Um, after managing to run first and second on Mount Panorama, uh, back to the natural order of things. But yeah, through the through the um, straight, I can't, can't get close to them. But here in the corners, uh, he had some hope. Even though this was the final lap, I still had quite a few corners to go, and I, I just couldn't afford to make mistakes and it should be fine because the AI starts to lose a lot of time around there so long as we don't screw up we should do okay a little bit of cutting corner there and here but I do it sometimes as well so I can't you know really complain and we are ever so close approaching the the end of the race and through here there we go throw it on the inside just don't go too wide and we are in third, which is what we need. Just got to control it from here. Not a good start here though. Going completely wide. 
and taking a little bit tidier through here and leaving the AI in the dust. This corner that I often screw up, I still screwed it up here, but not too badly. And the final corner going onto the uh, straight, which I also take way too wide. Awful driving, but at least I didn't have to repeat the race, which was great. I'm doing a lot less and less... Um, in fact, I didn't repeat a single race of this series. Of these last ones that are trying to get the gold off. So, uh, trying to gold on. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and maybe I'll see you again soon. Who knows?